All right, uh, this is my Slingerland drum set that I just acquired recently from 1967. And this is my jazz setup that I'm going to be using from now on when I record anything for like Facebook or YouTube or something like that. I'm going to be using this setup from now on. And uh, it's my three piece jazz setup. These are my Slingerland drums and they're they're a really great sounding drum set for for jazz music anyway uh there's i have the uh the 16 by 16 floor tom and the 8 by 12 mounted tom and the 14 by 20 bass drum and over there on the snare drum is is my ludwig superphonic 400 which is a a drum was made in 1977 10 years after this drum set was made but it's still a great sounding snare drum for all purposes and everything I'm going around here behind the drums now uh, there's my that's my 20 inch Zildjian medium ride and over here on this side is my 18 inch Zildjian K Zildjian uh, crash ride which is a really good symbol and the hi-hat symbol here is a uh, that's a Constantinople uh, top high hat and a Zildjian quick beat bottom high hat. And uh, here's a picture of the drum heads, which I have a Remo Ambassador on the snare drum, and a Remo Emperor on the mounted tom, and a Remo Emperor on the 16 inch floor tom. And down there is the DW5000 bass drum pedal, which is one of the several pedals I have, but it it's a real good pedal. It's got a double chain drive and it's real solid, real responsive pedal, uh, easy to play. It's got a lot of action to it. On the bass drum head down there is the Aquarian uh, clear bass drum head and on the front is a Remo Ambassador uh, logo, Slingerland logo bass drum head. Up there on the music stand is some of the stuff that I practice from out of the uh, Jim Chapin book, Advanced Techniques for the Modern Drummer. It's just some jazz stuff that's, that it's good to work on. And uh, I'm just showing this set. Uh, on the throne I'm using to sit on right now is the round rock and sock hydraulic throne, which is a very comfortable uh, seat. And it's easy to adjust up and down. If you want to sit higher or lower, you can just that hydraulic lever just lifts it up and down without loosening up anything. So this is my base. This is my basic jazz setup that I would use if I was playing in a, in a kind of a jazzy situation. Of course, you can play these drums in any situation. A pop, top forty, country. They wouldn't be all that great for real heavy metal, jazz, rock type music. But I don't play that type of music anyway. So. These are my Slingerland drums from 1967. Uh, my jazz setup with just one mounted tom. I got the other mounted tom over there stacked up on top of that Roger Dynasonic snare drum and a couple of more snare drums over there in the corner. Uh, so I've got plenty of snare drums. I got a Roger Swivomatic drum pedal sitting there too that I use sometimes. It's a real good pedal. And I got a bunch of cymbals over there, and I got some more in the closet with, uh, but those are the cymbals I use the most. And, uh, that's a Zildjian quick beat high, top hi-hat over there, but I'm using that Constantinople lighter top hi-hat for this application. So, anyway, these are my drums from 1967, Slingerland drums. They're really great sounding drums. I'm going to do a video tomorrow. Of playing the drums. I got them tuned a little bit different than I used to just because, uh, you know, for jazz, I, I tune them just a little bit higher and tighter for that. So, anyway, that's my drum set up right now for the for my Slingerland drums, and I'm going to get off of here and see if I can post this video, and uh, I'll, I'll put a video of playing them on there hopefully maybe tomorrow. All right, thank you all.